What is going on everybody? This is Yesaretta and today I am reviewing The Player of Games by Ian Banks. Alright, what's going on guys? Did you miss me? It's been a while since I've made a video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was busy and I just didn't really feel like it. But now I'm back with a bang. This is a cool book. This is actually a really, really, really cool book and I'm excited to review it. It's another culture novel. I've read two culture novels before, starting with Consider Flea Bass and what was the other one? Um, like. Use of Weapons, I believe Use of Weapons, yeah. And they both have been pretty good, so I was excited to read this one. It's supposed to be one of the best ones, I think. And oh yes, oh yes, it did deliver. And I loved the book, personally, it was like made for me. So let's get into the review. Um, I'm gonna talk about a bit of the story first, no spoilers, and then go into my likes and dislikes and give my score for the book. Right from the get-go, I found the story to be pretty interesting. We have another main character with a name you can't pronounce. This time he's called Gurge, Gurge. I have no idea. I don't know. He's a member of the culture. If you're not familiar with the culture series, you don't need to be at all. You don't need to read any books that have been in the series. Basically, the culture is a hybrid of humanoids and um, computer intelligence or what they call minds. And basically, they are ruling the known universe. So. They're like, you can't rule all the universe because it's just really huge and they're discovering new species all the time, but they're ruling like everything that is known to the, to the culture, basically. And this main character, Gergi, or however you pronounce him, he is a game master. So the player of games, the title, that's literally what he does all day. He just plays games, he reads up on theories or discovers new game types that are known to some civilizations that were newly discovered and basically he is the best. He's the best player that the culture has. He has like tons of titles and there there are a few people who can beat him in some games sometimes but there's nobody who knows so many games and who plays them so well like he does. The interesting thing about the story is that he gets an offer from Contact, which is basically an, an institution, I guess, in the culture that is responsible for contacting societies that were found that aren't part of the culture. And it's all top secret in the beginning. So basically Contact found a new society or a new culture, however you want to call it, that is based around a game. So. They say they never encountered anything like this and they want to incorporate any new societies they find into the existing culture. So this one was something they never encountered before and they wanted his help to do that. And the crazy thing is the game is basically ingrained into society. So basically if you win important games you can even shape political decisions and the whole society is shaped around it like people go, go people who are educated will be educated in playing the game and in in managing this incredibly complex game and it, it's not like a board game it's it's a huge game but i i won't spoil what exactly the game is because that finding that out was one of the cool things for me personally so I, I won't go into that but the catch is obviously that these people are incredibly good at the game and um, the culture or contact basically wants Gerge to travel there which already takes a lot of time because they're at the edge of what is known and um, then they want him to compete in a tournament there, which premise of all of this is already really good and the execution is just... <sighs> Damn. Alright, let's get to my likes. I won't spoil what happens, but there is a lot more happening in the story and... The <laughs> I loved it, honestly. So the likes, pretty much this review will just be me gushing about the book because I just loved it. Um, and let's start. It's an interesting storyline, perfectly incorporating this character of the player, just this, this, basically this nerd just playing games, perfectly incorporating it into the culture, society, into the whole storyline. It's fantastic, really. 
Now something else I really love, as the story goes on, we get to see this new society and basically not really a lot is known, especially Gurdjie, he doesn't know anything about it and he gets into this society and we can see all of that unfold and it's just fantastic getting to know all of these new characters and new rules and art. And then there's the game Azad is what it's called and it's such an interesting concept. As I said, I don't want to spoil but I also love how the game's complexity was conveyed. Like, obviously, if the game's super complex and you can't really describe it in this book, but it just skirts the edges of what the game does and it does it so well that you really get the sense of a huge and complex game being played and these complicated decisions that surpass our, our intellect being made, basically. So that's really, really crazy how, how well that was conveyed. I love how the games were described, the, the thought processes, the players making tactical decisions, trying to figure out what the other person is going for, trying to shape and trying to find their way out of difficult situations. That was just, that really takes good writing in my opinion and it was just written so well. As I said, I love it. I'm like, I like games and I think I like games of all kinds. We like board games here in Germany. I also like video games or I used to love them nowadays. I don't really play a lot anymore. Not have don't have too much time for that, but this book really brings it home. Like it's so well written. Then there's an intelligent main character. I don't know, I really like intelligent main characters and this one is the crazy thing is that he's just very good at games and he's very smart but it doesn't mean that he's like the best in everything which is kind of cool but I mean the book focuses around books uh, what the book focuses around games and in games he's obviously very very good so I enjoyed that <laughs> it's my personal preference but I really enjoyed it so yeah Gergi being calculating, being smart, getting to know this new society, trying to find his way and his decisions, his de his decisions in the game as well. Basically discovering this new game, Azad, this new society, everything. If you watch my channel you know that I love discovering new things. I know I love world building as much as anything in books and yeah it's basically uh, I, I just loved it. Something else I really enjoy is how the characters interact with the drones because in the society they have drones that are very smart or basically they're characters and they interact like normal human beings so you can compare them to a human that is just inside this drone body and they have their own personality and everything. So I really enjoyed them in the other culture books but in this one Really cool stuff as well. Now the aspect that really amazed me about this book that is one of the central themes it's that there are two societies here and these societies are very different and both of them clash in this book very heavily and I just love what Ian Banks did with this when he basically threw so many political ideas and these two different political systems against each other and how much of his, what I'm guessing is his personal philosophy he conveys and we have this super um, basically socialist culture that is super advanced and thinks or is like from an ethics standpoint uh, super, well, super, well, super well distinguished and now the aspect that really amazed me about this book that is one of the central themes it's that there are two societies here and these societies are very different and both of them clash in this book very heavily and I just love what Ian Banks did with this when he basically threw so many political ideas and these two different political systems against each other and how much of his what I'm guessing is his personal philosophy he conveys and we have this super um basically socialist culture that is super advanced and thinks or is like from an ethics standpoint super well distinguished and uh, I mean then we have this society with all their traditions and all their norms that is just very different kind of brutal sometimes not sometimes a lot of times but 
I just love it. It's really cool to see like fantasy or sci-fi books discuss different societies and you can kind of see the author's view and different ideas and in this book I really enjoyed it. It was really cool to read. So yeah, I I just enjoyed so much of this book and if if I'm being honest, if I get to my dislikes now, it's not really anything I dislike. Just nothing. I think it was that this book was tailor made for me, really. My score, yeah. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, perfect book. If you like games, buy this book. If you just like cool stories, buy this book as well. I'm serious, this is really, really, really good. <laughs> um, so yeah, but Taylor Made for me is a cool main character. We get to discover this super interesting new society, this crazy game, these, these crazy game strategies they're pulling off. The tournament he competes in, oh my god, is so cool. I just really, really love it. And then this ending I can't even talk about. It's just really cool. I really enjoyed this book, man. I can only recommend you to read this book. Um, so if you've watched me gushing over it and read the book yourself and don't think it's good, then please let me know in the comments below why. I'm just in awe of how much it impressed me. And I hope I can find other books that really strike you, like everything I want to read in one book. So, And also, if you've got recommendations based on this, something similar, hit me up. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you thought about the book in the comments below. Um, this is it for my review. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to drop a like, maybe sub to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then. Bye.